this uh, game that's coming up on iOS. Now from the looks of it, let's just zoom in here, it looks rather nice. Now what I'm often expecting these sorts of games is a sort of endless runner, but what we're seeing here I think is much more like a proper Zelda adventure. Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now I want to talk today about a series of books rather than a game. These books are the Beast Quest series um, that depict adventurer Tom and Elena as they go up against various beasts. Now my kids have really got into these, but what's interesting is how they're extending beyond just the, the fiction books themselves into this um, sticker books that we've got for them and also this um, Beast Quest annual. Now we've, that's not particularly surprising but today we've got a new magazine sent to us about Beast Quest this is brand new it's going to be in the shops um, this week next week I think so I thought I'd get this in front of the camera and see what's in it and I've heard that inside there's some details of a brand new Beast Quest game coming to iOS um, that is rather ambitious that takes a lead from games like Zelda Shadow of the Colossus and takes you to the world of Avantia and to join your heroes for the very first time so let's have a look at what's in the magazine so first of all we have the magazine itself, there we go, Beast Quest. Also in the bag we've got some freebies, we've got some Beast Quest stationery. Some Beast Quest loom bands, now my daughter loves these and I wonder if you're interested to hear if this is something that you do, do you make those loom band bracelets? And last but not, not least, some um, Haribo, mm, I might have to maybe eat these while we're looking at the magazine. So let's get the magazine in front of the camera. So here you go, Beast Quest, 100% Beast Quest, which reminds me of our magazine that we've been following 110% Gaming. Our um, table of contents there, you can see them bands what's on the front. We've got a whole load of information here, everything about Beast Quest. Now if you read these books, you realise there's more to this than meets the eye. What starts as a quite a simple series of tales about different monsters soon becomes this wide-ranging adventure where you're taken through all parts of the country of Avantia and you meet all sorts of heroes. So here's a Juro and a Juro's um, trials. Obviously there's a wizard that we meet in the books. Beastry bookmarks, how to make some bookmarks, competition time. So the usual sort of stuff that you see Nanook, one of the first monsters we encounter in Beast Quest. The usual sort of stuff you see in these magazines. We've got some posters here in the middle. If you pull these out, you can put those together, make a massive Beast Quest poster. My kids love doing that in their room, absolutely plastered with various posters. We'll just flick on through these. Nice little selection there. Epos, another of the great beasts of Avantia. Oh look, which character you? So you can follow this chart and find out which which character you, Tom, Elena, Aduro, or Malvel, the evil wizard. Um, ask Adam. He is the author, Adam Blade is the author of the Beast Quest series walking tall, look at the different giants you get in the world and oh this is nice, a how to draw um, series where it takes you through the different stages of drawing these different characters and of course the books themselves are illustrated. Now this is what we're really interested in, um, this uh, game that's coming up on iOS and from the looks of it, just zoom in here, it looks rather nice. Now what I'm often expecting these sorts of games is a sort of endless runner or very simple look at the world, but what we're seeing here I think is much more like a proper Zelda adventure style game, but set in Avantia. So if we um, zoom out, have a look, is it just these two pages or have we got more? And it's just these two pages, so I'm going to be interested to get my hands on that. And we'll have some videos coming up on this quite soon on the channel, where we will actually be going hands on with the game to show you firsthand what it's like. We had a wander around some of the first world and we met some of the monsters. So um, I think that's gonna be quite interesting to see how that develops. I don't think it's out until next year, but certainly some exciting news for fans of Beast Quest. And as we just carry on through the magazine, you can see there's plenty there to buy, plenty to get your hands on. So we have the Beast Quest magazine, our Haribo sweets, our Loom Bands, and our Beast Quest um, stationery kit. Now that's what's been sent to us, but we want to send some of this to you. So if you um, would like to add a comment to this video um, saying 
What is your favourite monster or favourite book in the Beast Quest series? We have got five um, Beast Quest goodie bags and we'll send those to you. We'll pick one of those comments at random. So do comment on the video and let us know um, which your favourite monster is or favourite book is from the Beast Quest series. If this is your first Family Gamer TV video, do subscribe to the channel because that means that we can um, let you know when we have more on Beast Quest, more on Skylanders, more on Disney Infinity, more on Angry Birds, um, Transformers and other games. So, but for today with the Beast Quest magazine, that's all we've got time for. We'll be back with more soon. Mm -hmm.